Should we talk about the uh, security incident? Are we starting with that? I yeah, yeah. Sure. I think. Start with it. Yeah. Give me, give me a juicy title before I hear the story so I can see how mad I am at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> a juicy title. Yeah. Let's see. Neebs versus security. Ooh. Or Neebs almost gets arrested. What happened? Neebs a criminal? Yeah, I'm always... Look, I, I should have known better. Like, I, I don't know. I just didn't think. I always... I have a knife on my keychain. Okay, where were you? We were going to NPC. Yeah. In Raleigh. Nerdcore Potticon. Which is at the Ritz uh, venue. Neebs pulls a knife on security. There you go. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I did. <laughs> That's your title. Yeah, yeah. that could. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't know how like fancy this venue was going to be. But yeah, they've got metal bars and What's gates What's fancy and have to do with it? I, didn't, I just didn't think. I, I didn't know how fancy. I didn't think I was going through security. I just huh? thought I was going to a... Okay. That's just to, a safety issue, not a fancy issue. Okay. Right. Can I just jump? You've flown with this? No. I'm trained to when I fly, I go, okay, I need to either check my knife in my, uh -huh. my check bag yeah. or leave it at home. And you don't go to a lot of live shows? Mm. No, the answer is no. Because it's standard, Ooh, think, it's standard for a live show. It, did I'm, you take it to that show with uh, the... You learned the language. Nate Bargazzi? What? No, no. The, the whole... Uh, the Spanish-speaking... Mana? Yeah, mana. Maybe. You no, you didn't. I don't remember. And now I'm thinking back to like the Nate Bargazzi show, the Tig Notaro show. Like, yeah, you probably had to. a knife at all those. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, you're white, so. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. We, get, we get up to like the, the metal detector, and they're like, ah, take everything in your pockets. And I'm, I'm reaching in there, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, that's, that's when I'm thinking, oops. And I'm, I'm thinking, God, maybe I want to go back to the hotel or something. Should have swallowed it. I don't know. They're like, yep, yeah, you can't bring the knife. And I'm like, dang it. And then I pull up. I just bought a selfie stick. Because uh -huh. I wanted to, like, you know, film some stuff. Yeah. And I thought, that'd be cool. I've never yeah. had one. Right. And they're like, can't bring that. You beat somebody to death with that. <laughs> so <laughs> did, you see, did they see your arms? I mean, you could easily, I mean, come uh, on. You, what's you're that on your fellow. feet? Yeah. Shoes? I, I yeah. can beat people with them. Yeah, can, you really could. Yeah. I can choke people yeah. with these. The selfie, I understand the knife. The selfie stick's a little That's ridiculous. ridiculous. It is crazy. Yeah. And listen, At a nerd event. Yeah. <laughs> we we know everybody right. there. I mean, the the... Organizers, you know, JT Music, Nasteki was an organizer, and I'm like, hey, can we go talk to somebody? Not that I want to carry it in, because I know this shouldn't be carried in there. Maybe I can give this someone, they can lock it up in the office or security or somewhere, and he's just, I mean, he he was doing his job. Yep. So what did he do? I fully he, understand. He threw it away? Well, first he took them, and he's like, come find me later. I'm like, I don't know about this. Like, what if he leaves early <laughs> or something? Anyway, Nasteki comes out. She found somebody, like a head of security, that had a, had somebody put it in a car. I wouldn't have cared, except the knife was a gift. It's okay. got sentimental value to yeah. it. Oh, yeah. And, and, and for perspective, how big is this knife? It's on a keychain, so it's only two inches. Two, two, well, yeah, two inch knife. Two, folded up. Two and a half. Yeah. yeah. At, Unfolded, the, at the worst, if you were a bad person, it'd be a, an inconvenience for whoever you shanked. Yeah. No, that could, that could do no, some could, damage. Oh, God. Sure. It could, it, throat, goner. Well, no, good point. You know, yeah. so super easy there. But really, you punch somebody hard in the throat. And yeah. you know where to punch them? Mm -hmm. No. Th oh, they're, you got they're fists? Done. There's Sorry. weapons everywhere. I right. could have a chair. Right. Kill Any, somebody with a chair. It is, you know, yeah. But no, I understand. Like, yeah. Of course. I, he, yep, for sure. He, you could tell he was, like, used to people giving him a hard time. Right. And I, I'm not that guy. I'm like, I totally get it. You yeah. just give us a hard time. There shouldn't be, people shouldn't be bringing knives to this. Right. No, you're a mistake. Yes, it was. So, anyway, there's everybody's in. I'm behind the red rope just waiting to figure this mess out. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> I got a picture of it. It's great. And some people. <laughs> we've been, I don't know. Yeah, you're just waiting back there like, yeah, yeah. Can't Pulling do anything. Aside for but, me, so. but we did have some Neves Gaming fans out there. I took some pictures with them while I was waiting behind them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. This one kid rolled up. He had a Simon shirt on. Yep. Oh, oh, fuck nice. yeah. He was like, oh, my God. He was like, yeah, wait for Neves. He can't get in. He brought a knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a bludgeon. We shouldn't be your role models, kid. A yeah. bludgeon. Neves pulls a knife on fan. Yep. Yeah. Now nah, that's too clickbait. Oh, okay. Anyway. No. I so you up. take that picture. You put some blue lights behind it like he's getting arrested. <laughs> Boom. There's your thumbnail. <laughs> 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 Perfect. Uh, Put a knife in there. With a smile. Maybe. I love that. Yeah. An, an exclamation emoji. Thank you to our sponsor, Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. 
chef-prepared meals delivered straight to your door, and they are delicious. Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat up and enjoy. I order their food, and I've been loving it. Aside from everything tasting great, it saves me a lot of time cooking and a lot of trips to the store. And I'm eating healthier with Factor because I'm avoiding fast food. And they have options out the wazoo. I usually go with the chef's choice, but they also have keto, vegan, and veggie, calorie smart, and protein plus options on the menu each week. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians, and each meal is prepared fresh and never frozen, using the best ingredients and delivered straight to your door. You want to cut back on takeout? Get Factor instead. You'll save a ton of money, and the meals are ready in just two minutes. No prep. No mess. So if you have ever considered trying a ready-to-eat meal kit, then head over to factormeals.com slash neebs50 and use code neebs50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code neebs50 at factormeals.com slash neebs50 to get 50% off your first box. Thank you, Factor. Tell us more about the mm. show then. The show is fun. Yeah. Yeah, I had a really damn good time. Yep, and I didn't Ollie's know what awesome. to expect, because uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't follow the nerdcore scene, Mm-mm. but uh, there was a couple acts there. I'm like, okay, I'm looking this guy up, and I might, uh, I might listen to uh, to that music D. Mm. Now that was a, that was that's your, a review. Wow, that was right a hell of a review. I <laughs> might, I've, a couple. I might there. actually look this I, guy up. I, I might listen to some of their music. <laughs> Coming maybe. from someone that's not into the scene, yeah. I can't, you know, that's I can't lie. I'm just not into the scene. But uh, now, like, okay, this is a good entry point. Oh yeah. For this, I, I think like, there yeah. was how many acts were there? As taken, there was twenty, and not including all the features and twenty the acts. Mm-hmm. You said there were eleven earlier. I was guessing. I said, don't you know? I I I didn't lead into it like I was confident. I was like, I don't know, maybe eleven. That means it could be different. You don't just throw out eleven. Yeah. There were twenty. Well, yeah, there was twenty. God, it didn't seem like it was twenty. Mm-hmm. So okay. When did the show give me some of those deets? When did it start and end? All twenty acts performed only one. One day, right? One Saturday. day. One day yeah. was so, about five hours worth of show, including an intermission. Wow. They that's... all performed two to three songs. Okay. Um, and it was it was snappy. Like that was it was lots to jam in there. So yeah. it was. They had back to keep to on going. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, we were we were backstage when uh, JT music went on, mm-hmm. and they only sang four songs, I think. So it was roughly four songs per. Less than that. Per artist. Yeah. So less, yeah. Less yeah. Than that got is, extra. I feel like they, they only they sang two. Did, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's it was generally three. Okay. Approximately. I have a question. Mm. What does John do while Christian's singing? Uh, he runs the whole thing. This is his baby. No, but he's, is he acting like a DJ or something? No, he doesn't oh, no. go on stage. <laughs> I'm curious if he's on stage. No, he doesn't go on stage. Uh, this yeah. is his baby. He runs the whole. This is his event. Organized at all? Yeah, the JT guys and the Rocket Music guys. Yeah. Um, they're my homies. They are the ones who conceptualized and started this whole thing. She just had to throw that in there. That uh, I did. I did. Her homies. They are my homies. Okay. Yeah. I'm so by homies, quite. would you kill for them? Like, will you stick a guy with a, a, a knife? With a, with a, a pocket knife? knife? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. would. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. In a heartbeat. Right. Yeah. All right, so. Um, yeah, no, John John was busy. Yeah. He's a busy boy. Yeah. He really is. Okay. Yeah, well, he, we, he definitely has, um, like, all of the volunteers and all of the people who are meant to be there running things, but he is still overseeing it all, putting out fires, Making sure that everyone's happy. Like he's, awesome. He's a great communicator. Really good at checking in with everyone. Going, hey, you good? What do you need? And yeah, he's great. Had a John. The whole thing was great. It was just so yeah. smooth. And, fun. Uh, and that venue, venue was awesome. great. The Ritz. The Ritz is, the Ritz is great. A sweet spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was a Live Nation event technically too. Okay. Um, so. Oh, do they have the Ritz kind of in their mm-hmm. fucking Live as Nation? Well as the yeah. Do. Oh. Yeah. yeah. The Ritz. I mean, Live Nation really has their their hands around everything these days mm-hmm. not gonna rip on them but you can probably <laughs> feel it in my brain <laughs> yeah they got they have a lot of venues <laughs> under their belt and they, they take fees. they take a lot of money through <laughs> a lot of bullshit <laughs> fees, a lot of fees. <laughs> a lot of fees. <laughs> they're kind of a monopoly if you will yeah, yeah. when they took over like Ticketmaster and all like you know they do they do the one we have here in town too right live yep. oak oh uh, yeah the amphitheater yep. yeah yeah so do they build these venues too Good question. I'm sure in some cases, some are pre-existing, and they just kind of latched on after the fact. Yeah, so they're know? building the venues and then saying, all right, it's Sometimes, our venue, and you have to go through our service. Yeah, for yeah. Wilmington, they yeah they were directly involved with building Live 
Oak downtown mm-hmm. on the river, but Greenfield Lake Amphitheater already existed pre Live Nation. Gotcha. But that they is now a Live it? Nation. Okay, gotcha. However, that all works. Kind of crazy. Yeah, they're gonna and gobble. Assume, they're gonna gobble it all up, aren't they? Yeah. I assume they're a big part of networking the bands that. For sure. They go to these places. Yeah. Because we've been getting a lot bigger names around here than we have yep. before. Yes. And the closest place that we used to have for any um, bands, really, like, uh, I remember hearing that House of Blues in Myrtle Beach, because for a long time, that was, like, yeah. the closest place we could go to see, like, a name, a yeah. bigger, and I remember hearing that if they were playing there, there was, like, a, a proximity thing. Like, they couldn't do a show in Wilmington if they were playing House of Blues there because there was like a certain amount of miles right. outside of oh, shit like that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. but that's you. just how that world works. Yeah. yeah. You know? But these days they've got their, their little fingers everywhere. Yeah, maybe anyway. we benefit because now we can see shows without leaving town. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Anyway, yeah, we had a great time. We didn't just, just go to MPC. Um, went to a few parties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, the first day, the, the that was a concert, MPC, and then the next day was a uh, meet and greet, where yes. I guess people were just meeting and greeting the 20 performers that were there. And this is with 1,300 fans. That's the other thing mm-hmm. we haven't yeah. kind of covered as well. Yeah, that many fans were, came to the concert, and then the next day to the meet and greet. Yeah, and we ran into several people that were at the last NGL. Mm-hmm. With Very Spiriana, cool. she yeah. was there. Yep. Did you, uh, I mean, from, I assume, around the world... Fans and artists alike. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah. I met a guy from uh, Norway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay, so one of the performers was from Norway. No, he no. wasn't a performer. No. Okay, he gotcha. He just a dude. Attending. Just attending, okay. Yeah. He sounded like a cartoon character. <laughs> sounded yeah. like he was from Norway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't just the, Nor- the Norwegian accent. It was also he had a very high-pitched voice. Yep. So okay. it all kind of played into each other. It was fun. He was, he was a great it. kid. But Neebs of Norway, if you will. There you go. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I could see people coming here and say, Neebs, you sound like a damn cartoon character. That's right. I <laughs> am. You're a fun gamer tag, Norway Neebs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> also like Neebs of Norway. It sounds like a title. Neebs of Norway. Neebs of Norway. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a good alliteration there. Yeah. Um, we went to uh, our friend Tim, has been in Wilmington for a long time. He's in Raleigh right now. He was also the artist in yep. uh, Duralis. He made the the painting behind the fireplace. The map. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not, not the map. map. Not the map. Not the, the map. War room. But the, yeah, the, of exactly. On not top the map. Of the, the map. depiction of his slaying of Titanus. With the sword and everything. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He's an unbelievable artist. Apparently a, a bar builder. He yeah. builds it. Yeah, he's built a lot of bars downtown Wilmington and kind of got in that crowd and just became that guy, that go-to guy. If you're opening up a new establishment, you're like, hit up Tim. T-Y-M Tim, and we all know exactly who T-Y-M Tim is, if we mm-hmm. say it. So, yeah. um, Tim Atosh, his full name. And he's, anyway, yeah, he's, he, he's talented. Yeah, he the is. Stuff he can do with woodwork and mm-hmm. all that. So he's the new place looks too. great. They got a beer garden in uh, Raleigh, and it's it's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, you said it could hold up to a 1,000 people? I think it's over a 1,000, like with the outdoor area. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with the outdoor area, easy. They got a big outdoor like backyard. So a good place for a, a party, Hell if yeah. you will, if we were... Yeah, for sure. What was know. the beer garden called? Do you Tap remember? Yard. Tap Yard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there a stage out there? Uh, there are. There's a stage inside. I mean, that one's not huge, but you right. could definitely do live music outside, yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Could you do an outdoor, see, that's the whole thing. If we knew the weather was going to be great, it could do uh, potentially uh, an outdoor show. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, but possibly. anyway. Yep. Mm. But mm. yeah, the place, uh, it's, I like how tiered it is. Like You have the front room, mm-hmm. which is I think it's kind of a lounge. Kind of then you have the middle room with the stage for like karaoke. And then there's outdoors. So like, like if I would be in a place and it'd get too noisy, I could come over here for a bit. It was a little bit more chill. And then oh, I'm ready to party again, so I'll go back into the noise. So, mm-hmm. yeah, had a lot of just, you could just go anywhere you wanted. Felt nice. Did they have cornhole? They did. Yeah. Cornhole, they had ladder ball. Check. I mean, check. Go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, they had, uh, you know, Horses, outdoor baby. Jenga. They had a lot of games there. Yeah. Jenga, Connect Four. All the, mm-hmm. yeah. The ring. Arcade machines. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a, it was a sweet venue. Yeah. Had a punchy bag. Oh, boy. Now, that's a story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll bite. A punchy bag. <laughs> you know, the ones you like. The power the punch, bag? The power punch. Yeah. 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 We found the game that Neebs is good at, finally. Are you good at that? Yeah. Yeah. You should have done, yeah. like, spin kicks. He took the shit. record that night. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, there was a thing going. You could hear them in the other room. Like, just people were gathered around it. Yeah. Right. right. And every time someone would break it, like, ah, they're screaming. Yeah. Um, And uh, what's his name? Uh, Cam Steady. Cam Steady. Broke the record. 
Okay. And uh, and they, he had some stiff competition before that. Okay. There's some big boys nailing on that thing. Sure. And then later, I was talking to Cam Steady, and uh, he's like, you got to go do that thing. I'm like, all right, well, come, come show me how to do it. And he was showing me the technique he was using. Okay. You know, when you shoot a basketball, and you're like, yep, that's a miss. Yeah. I yeah. know that didn't go right. Yeah. First one was kind of crappy. Second one connected. Yeah. Almost got to him. Third one, boom. What was his score? His was like 930-something. All right, so can't, his score is 930-something, and then this happens. I want to see it. Oh! <laughs> Damn, Neves! Yeah! Now, Neves, oh. you got a great punch. That's your martial arts background, all that good stuff. Yeah, that looks solid. That's a good punch. That And yeah. not by much. Like, you didn't beat him by much. I mean, literally, like, five. Yeah. Something like that. Whatever. Yeah. Surprised he didn't stab the bag. <laughs> yeah. And I love that it just happened to be uh, uh, 944. Yeah, oh, look at that. Of it's course. Like, oh, oh, man. Oh, little little even... thick competitiveness come out in you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Imagine I did that with my dominant hand. <laughs> <laughs> or your ego. I know. What a bag wouldn't have made it. Uh uh-uh. uh. What else? Give us more fun little tidbits. Yeah. So, so, you know, I mean, yeah. Talk about you, you went there with the idea to check out other places. You did check out other places because we went there for, you know, research. Yeah. We went That's to part uh, of, yeah. a couple theaters down in Raleigh. So we're like, we'd like to do a show somewhere else. Um, Somewhere with a larger airport, which Raleigh has, and it's not too far for us to drive to. So um, the Ritz is great. I don't know if the venue's too big for us or not, but that's a possibility. We went to uh, the Lincoln Theater, mm-hmm. which is downtown Raleigh, and it's kind of uh, it's More. an older, a little bit run down, but it's got a lot of class inside. Like it's it's got some character. And it's a more of a music venue, not a theater setting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of a theater. I mean, they can set up in a different way. It can be all chairs. It can be like tabletops with cocktail tables and stuff. Mm-hmm. They have a balcony kind of around the top of it. Um, it holds a good bit of people. And there's been a lot of a lot of uh, shows there. It's like there's some history there for sure. And it's got like a full blown like stage, like stage curtain, concert lighting. Uh, the sound system is great. Um, so that's an option. Then there was the Rialto, which is a really cool theater. It's more like a movie theater, though, with, with comfortable seating, but it doesn't have much of a stage, Yeah, which we kind of need. We could bring in a stage, and there's no lighting, no like theater lighting or anything, really. Right. So those are three options, but uh, who knows? We're still trying we're, to figure it out. We're looking at stuff. Yeah. That'd be cool to do a show out of town. That's our next step. Yeah. Should be lots of fun. Thank you to our sponsor, Dave. And Dave is a banking app that's leveling the financial playing field. Dave would have been great when I was pretty much living month to month, which was all of my 20s and more than a few years of my 30s. And back then, I did not properly balance my account. So unfortunately, I was no stranger to overdraft fees. And there were also plenty of times I just ran into huge bills that were unexpected, like when I blew up my transmission when I first moved to Wilmington. I really could have used Dave. But that was back when the internet was just a little baby and we were worried about Y2K. But now it's easy. And when you download Dave, you could get up to $500 in five minutes or less with no credit check and no late fees. It's part of Dave's extra cash account that will advance the money you need with no interest and then settle up later. And here's an awesome statistic. Dave, since 2017, has helped members avoid over $2.5 billion in overdraft fees. So download Dave today at dave.com slash Neebscast. That's dave.com slash Neebscast. And you could get up to $500 in five minutes or less with no credit check and no late fees. So download the Dave app now or go to dave.com slash Neebscast. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Eligibility criteria and instant transfer fees apply. Bank services provided by Evolve, member FDIC. That's dave.com slash Neebscast. When you guys were doing that, I was shaking my booty. I had pre- I bought tickets in like way early this year for... At EDM artist Grizz, and man, I had some good clothing on. I saw the pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. My light-up shoes, uh, my 
sleeveless hoodie looked like a disco ball kind of had glitter on my face <laughs> yeah like an iridescent like <laughs> yeah. purple blue yeah. disco ball I, yeah, shirt went all in it was so fun and yeah. the shorts they were colorful too yeah I think. they were yeah we went all in so yeah Couldn't everybody make it there looked great fun. yeah it looked like a fun <laughs> a fun setting for a lot sure of booty shaking never yeah i've never been to an edm yeah it's just concert beats going through your soul Oof. but him like it could it, it all really depends on who's spinning. If yeah, for sure. The, you know, so like, would you say that the uh, opening people, you said it was like, what? It was all over the place. Five hours. Yes, yeah, so all yeah. over the place, huh? Yeah. You get your dubstep to just electric, like, and he's funk based, so he pulls out his sax a lot. And oh, that's got cool. a, Yeah. A couple backup singers that fucking, one of, one of the ladies who had one of the best fucking, her voice, just all the soul. and How'd she, she sound? So, so. Like, do it. I can't do it, <laughs> but um, she was pregos. So, but everyone they say the fetus makes it better. Yeah, the baby was singing That's with what her. I heard. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, That's good it stuff. Creates we'll a nice say. vibration. And so, yeah. yeah, they have a can, the fetus has a connection through the angels. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So the I would, angels. That's what they say. Go up through the mama's sure. mouth. But yeah, so I didn't make it up there. I'm happy to hear it. everything went up there. Went great. And that would have been Live Nation, huh? Yeah. It was Live Nation. We were all surrounded by Live Nation, as we always are. <laughs> Do you say like 20% of the people out there were taking hallucinogenics? Well, here's the thing. Um, if you're doing a mushrooms or that sort, you know, and you want to dance, your legs kind of get a little jelly-like, so it's probably not the best to do mm-hmm. for that kind of a show. Any knives or selfie sticks? No, dude, it, it, his crowd that he is, it's similar to our community. Mm-hmm. They're so fucking cool with each other. They clean up after themselves. Like, they're known for that. Nice. And it's a, just a dope vibe. You can feel that positive energy in the air the second you get there. As scantily clad as everyone is, like, nobody gives a shit. There's no, like, you know, no judgment. stigma and judgment around any of it. It's nice. wide open. And Grizz, you know, he came out as gay, like, a few years ago. Um, so it's just, like, a community that doesn't give a fuck. Just wants to have a good time and shake their butts. This makes me feel competitive. Like, we should... Up our game as a community. <laughs> yeah. Let's take down Grizz. Well, well, Grizz is taking a hiatus. So this is the time. <laughs> yeah. This is the time we're moving on his community. So next live show we do, I expect people to bring um, like cleaning supplies, touch up paint. Yeah. Um, maybe a cedar. They can kind of seed and fertilize. Yeah. Hey, look, yeah. the Lincoln. That place probably could use a paint job. I'm not gonna lie. It's been. It's a little not run down. Yeah, run down. Yeah. Run yeah, down. Why don't we offer to become business partners? We'll be 51 percent and we'll freaking renovate the place and then we'll have a show there Friday. once a year yeah. and then we'll be able to rent it rent it out and it'll actually look really really nice until live nation makes us an offer and yeah then, and, and then we'll, we'll cash out that's, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. that's how we make the money and then we will leave the neebs theater alone wouldn't that be awesome if we were productive enough to make a neebs theater <laughs> yeah. listen man it's just it's basically just another business what do we want to get into and how much do we util- want to utilize it and if you yeah. know and if you know that it's 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 hard to get good stuff we've been looking we look at venues right you guys have been looking at venues it's hard to find the right place mm-hmm. it and is. if you, in, it, like the theater in town here the the, the one that you know uh, we had it at level five we wish that we could run across a place like that and actually really renovate it yeah that make place. it beautiful yeah. And and the, but that place is too small. But if we could do that with a place that could seat six or seven hundred, I would look at that as a very good business opportunity as yeah. as a company. But even a, even a small theater like that could work. Like imagine imagine our Thursday night streams every week was in front of a live audience. Yeah, yeah, very true. Be really neat. No, well, yeah, I mean okay. I was, so yeah, you sell that every week. Every week. Well, then I'd well, yeah, I want to own the bar. Yeah, exactly. Let's do it. Yeah, it's like yeah, that, that, that makes work. a little more business sense. No, that's. Good. If you could find a small enough theater, yeah, something like level five would be perfect. Yeah, except that oh. place looks like a money pit. Oh yeah, so no, that place. Would be everything awful. about it screams money pit. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm no, sure that, that place needs so many repairs. But you know what, man? <laughs> Listen, it's also cost a shit ton of money to build. So repairs, do them right. Let's do them right. It's not. It's not. It's really not that hard. You just gotta fucking do it right. Right. Yeah. Which anyway. is why we shouldn't do it. <laughs> yes, damn right. Well, that's hiring a contractor who's good. We're right. not the one. We no, no, the no, 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 no. You don't want me uh, no. putting in trim. Now, what is this? Uh, <laughs> in there like, like a paint? In there like a theater? I don't know if it's like uh, Greenfield Lake area or Castle. Oh yeah, there's a theater over there. Like no, but what is? It's like some sort of like. Uh, 
what do you call it? What do you call those shows where they at? they pretend like dinner theater kind of thing? Yeah, I haven't been there yet. And it looks really cool. The pictures I saw looked amazing. Looks really cool in there. I don't think it's a huge place, but I think they they do every week, they do a dinner theater. And Damn, it's really? There's a yeah. dinner theater? Yeah. In town. And the, I gotta the, take my kid there. The Whoever decorated it, it just looks dope from what I've seen. Actually, were they, am I making this up or is this a real thing that they were like working for Disney, like those Imagineers, the people that like kind of, like maybe that was their background. Maybe. Where they just make stuff look good. You might like have in made that entirely up. Who knows? Yeah, we don't I know. really want to check these guys out because yeah. that is such a fun thing to do. Like, yes, entertain me. You, I don't know. Dork. Gonna say dorks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Is it. And of course, I expect what? the food to be good, but if it's it, okay, that's fine as it, long as the entertainment's good. It's got a really interesting name, too. What's that? Well, I can't remember it. I'll, but it's I'll look interesting. It up while you guys, yeah. Do that. look it up. Yeah, please do. Yeah, look at us I mean, all speaking pondering. Speaking of cool places, I mean, we also we were checking out another place potentially for a party called Marbles, downtown Raleigh. You guys heard of that? No. It's um, I've I've been there with my daughter before. Did you say marbles or marbles? Marbles, marbles. game mm. that I used yeah. to play when I was a kid. Marbles. No, marbles. It's like a, it's a kids museum, which sounds like a weird place to have a party, but they they do events. And they got like so many little games and things you can play. Like you build little race cars and race them, giant uh, chess boards. So as a so you're saying I can rent it out for a, a, a nighttime party, yeah. and I could and as adults we could play with these toys yes. during the party. Yeah, win win. Exactly. It was a it was a cool spot. Not wow. as cool as Tim's. And That's you can drink. And you can drink. Oh yeah, no, yeah. It's we a did course. it for the VIP party for NPC. Nice. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay, so it's called it's called the Sorrow Drowner. That's it. It's a theater. I think it's open. I don't think this is. All right, hold on. Go go back to the yeah, first page. Go back. It's is that eighteen yeah. or over? Okay, yeah, eighteen plus. It's adults oh, only. Man, leave your daughter at home. Yeah, where she belongs. All right, so we should, if it is still open, we should enjoy this together, and I will hopefully maybe push for this. Yeah, I'll do that it. with you guys sometime. It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. And then we could specifically talk about it in the podcast, find a clever title for it. Yeah. Okay, so this place isn't open yet. I think it is open. It, it is it, open. So okay. it used to be a different theater, and I remember seeing Changing Channels, a local comedy oh, troupe neat. there back um, several years back, maybe about eight or nine. So right. I think it's in that space, because it says 10 South. Huh. Probably fairly small. Yeah, not, not huge, but uh, pr- kind of what it looks like there. Like, that's the size. I remember going to see a dinner theater somewhere downtown ish, but I don't know, maybe around tenth or four. What did when did you say this was at? Tenth? On tenth, yep. Nineteen South Tenth. So yeah, I saw I saw a, a dinner theater, but it was eat dinner and watch uh, an actual show. Not when I think of a, a dinner theater, I'm thinking of like eating dinner amongst the people who are doing it. Is that something different? I'm imagining yeah, something that's, different. That's no, that weird. happens too, yeah. But yeah. I, I would, but call, is that I would call that dinner theater we what you know. just yeah. described. Okay, because that's the kind that I really like. I'd like <laughs> to be know. sitting next to actors and people being like a murder mystery? What? No, I mean it's a it's dinner theater. Well, a murder mystery would be a dinner theater. Yeah, yeah agreed. It's like okay, you're doing I don't a murder know any mystery other show. Yeah, I guess, eating with the actors. Yeah, dinner theater is right. You're, you're on yeah, point. Okay, yeah. So point. dinner theater is I used, what I was thinking yeah. that this was. So I worked at a dinner theater in high school. Yeah, you know, called the Chan Ass and Dinner Theaters, and it was like the largest. Actually, it's the largest in the country. What did you do? I was a busboy and then waiter. Like when I turned eighteen, were you part and, of the show? No. But like the show wasn't part of. They weren't mar- sitting by us. They yeah. were performers. Up, you they know. were on stage. Yeah, right. Where I'm expecting, like where I used to work. I've said this before. Uh, they used to. Uh, uh, so it was a big restaurant. They see like 500 people, and they'd have like maybe 100 people in this one section in the restaurant, and that's when the actors would come in, and you'd do like, oh, you're doing like, you know, Ma- Mary and, and Joey's wedding, and it's <laughs> and you get to eat. While they're, you know, amongst like 10 actors or 15 actors yeah. and you're like playing these yeah. parts of the thing. That's the kind of thing that every time I hear dinner theater, I'm like, oh, that's in town. I want to go to that because I never got to like enjoy. I got to work it and bus, but I never got to sit down and participate. You didn't get comp tickets ever? No, nah, I was also younger, so hmm. I was mostly just wanting to drink, whatever. Yeah. But so have you guys ever done that? And maybe we could do that. I, I, I was part of a dinner theater like in high school. Like, like that? We did it like in the cafeteria of my high school. We put on a dinner theater show. Oh. It was like, you know, one night it was like spaghetti night. And then, uh, yeah, while 
spaghetti night was going on, we put on a little murder mystery. It, see, that it was sounds fun. great. Yeah, it was fun. It was stupid. Yeah. Yeah, you get the audience involved. You're questioning people. It's kind of like, like half improv-y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it was fun. Yeah. I like murder mystery shit. Those parties. Yeah, because always... like, you think about like the pirate show and something like Medieval Times. That's also in the dinner theater realm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's dinner theater. It, it, yeah. it is. So this makes me like less about wanting to see this with you because we're just pretty much watching, watching a, play. a show and eating. Yeah. Right. But whereas might be if, a good show. We'll do this it anyway. Might be. I mean, it'd be yeah. fun. Maybe this could be a cool venue anyway. So maybe worth just to check out for that. Yeah. Hmm. Is uh, Stan still doing? What's he doing? Is he doing I, I think he's down in Pigeon Forge, being the uh, the main pirate at Blackbeard. What's that called? Well, but yeah. no, the name of the in Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge, but oh, the okay. Pirates' Voyage. Yeah, because oh, okay. he did Myrtle no, Beach for Black a while. He was the right? king at Medieval Times. Dolly Black Parton, Parton not owns, oh. Dolly Parton owns the Pirates' Voyage. Right, because it used yeah. to be the Dixie Stampede. Yep. Right, I thought he was the pirate Blackbeard in it because there's no nobody owns. That. I don't. I don't think it's maybe not. I okay. consider him Blackbeard, but yeah. Yeah, yeah well, good for him, man. Pitching forwards, it must be a pretty chill place to live. I've heard that's a cool yeah. place. I've been yeah. there before. I was younger, but yeah, been there before. It was very touristy the part I was in, but sure. I remember being fun. Dollywood, be, yeah, right around there. Be cool to work for Dolly. Yeah, why not? Probably half. <laughs> Fucking Tennessee works for Dolly. <laughs> yeah, you made me right. Yeah, that's dope. She like Mickey like... Mouse in Florida. It's like, oh, yeah. You, you live in Florida, you probably work for Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, says We're six subscribers off 100,000 on the dumpster. Oh, really? Oh, hey. hey. Yeah, six subscribers. Yep. Damn, almost to 100K <laughs> on the Sorry, dumpster. I got really excited. Yeah, you yeah, should. Yes, you saw. should be. Yeah, no, that's great. Which is a good chance right now. Or is that update or, in real time? By the end of the it day. Did. Well, shit. End of the day, yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I should subscribe. Please do. Yeah. I'm going to do it right <laughs> now. If you guys all subscribe. I'm already subscribed. Done. I, I might am too. subscribed. Oh, I sorry. might have done Well, it. thank you for being proactive. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for listening to yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, do I still subscribe and you can check and see if it goes on? Ooh. I'm subscribed. Oh, you already Shit. Damn it. Oh. Should <laughs> well, I unsubscribe yeah. and then resubscribe? Yeah, that won't help. Okay. That happened to us when we hit... A million, didn't it? Yeah, oh, we yeah, were YouTube, watching it live. YouTube mm -hmm. did a purge? No. Nope. Well, we were yeah. just watching it when it happened. Yeah. And, and then it went, went down. Up, go up two. Up. We're mm -hmm. like maybe 50 away or something, and we're watching it. and Up up three, down two, up one, down five. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, that was, that was exciting, though. Fuck yeah, it was. That's a milestone. That was a yeah. huge like, damn. milestone. Yeah. And then, of course, 100,000 was oh, for us. Up one? It just went up hey! one. Hey! Hey! We're almost there. Is there anyone we know, right, that we could just call real quick to, you know, at least get one more? Anybody? We should call a million people we know. <laughs> I can call. I can go call my homies. Yeah, but it's got to be able to happen right now. we got to know it. Don't let them know. If you let the public know, we're only a couple away, they'll, they'll start messing with you. Like it's kind of it. Yeah, it'll go or down. Unsubscribe. Go up, go down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's shit. Bunch of jokesters out there. <laughs> yeah, they really are. <laughs> yeah, they are. So one thing, I mean, if we wanted to talk about the show a little bit more, potentially like what we were thinking about doing, maybe. Do we want to even talk about any of that other stuff? Our next show? Yeah. You got like, some stuff on your mind? Go for it. Well, yeah. Because, well, I mean, it, there's been talk about which I like the more I think about it. A lot of standing going on at the shows. Like a music venue, like some of our audience could be standing for the show. Yes, like yeah. if you're doing it at a place where you go, yeah, you know what, 600 people can fit in here, but there's only about 250 seats. Yeah, so if you need to sit, you can. Yeah. But if you want to be, if the show has more energy, if we're doing games and then we're, I don't know, grabbing beers and hanging out for a minute and then we're, maybe we got some musical numbers and things like that. Right, you know, we're rotating the people in the front. You know, when we're throwing shit out there, the ones that are closest to the stage, they get the dibs. Yeah, you know, that's what are a you, possibility. What are you guys bringing uh, to the table in these upcoming shows? I mean, uh, besides magic, I'd like to sing. besides magic, yeah, I'd like to sing uh, um, uh, "Hot Dog Lover." Oh yeah, that'd be nice. Get my friend down here. Yep, I might. Um, I'm probably gonna do something with knives. Um, <laughs> so you can get them in. I could probably. Would you, Simon, would you be willing to I'd attach wait. yourself to a spinning wheel? I, I would have no problem with that. I trust Ooh. you. Okay. <laughs> Here we well, go. Oh. Yeah. I might do a magic show. Oh, good. Yeah. 
Good. You know, hey, magic we can't have enough magic. I have always <laughs> said. The magic off would be great. Just did go back magic. And forth. Playing the games. Let's all learn magic. I just got my email last night that my new trick I've ordered is being shipped right now. Ooh, Ooh fun, yeah. fun, 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 fun. Interesting fun. How, how tricks work, getting them shipped. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's Flying a whole different tricks. world out there with the trick world in there. It is, I guess. Because yeah. if you go on like Amazon, look for tricks, you're going to get the... Little squishy balls, and you're just gonna get all the, yeah. the shit you can get at Spencer. Have you ordered your tricks yet? Yeah, absolutely. Were you on it on your tricks? No, I was just gonna make my own. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm excited for that. Someone's not taking this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you, you buy the magic. Do you understand? Well, unless you don't just you're make a, it up. I mean, a lot of the magicians um, will make their own shit. Yeah, like well, some, of not a lot. You got to come up with it to sell it, right? I'm gonna make my own, sell it. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. I bet That's the boys that are in it. Like full blown, they have like a warehouse. Hell yeah! Just like machining. You got to make your own doing thing. Doing it all. Yeah. Every now and then, I'll watch that horribly like it, it that Penn and Teller, the Fool Us mm -hmm. show, which is kind of a I don't know, it's kind of annoying, but <clears throat> it's still fun to see uh, them try to fool the old Penn and Tells. Yeah, I, I'm not one that's figuring those things out. I've watched the ep like an episode or two, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, yeah, I don't see how they're doing it. I don't want to. Like, I have no desire to know how you do that And some trick. people go nuts with not knowing. I Tell have me. fun with it. Like, like it's more fun to, for me not to know. Man, yeah, I'm in your camp. Yeah. When I, it drove me nuts. My This is Wellington married my cousin, and this was like freaking... So in the 80s, I'm this kid, right? And, and there's this French guy who's like 21 years old, and he's dating my Italian cousin in Queens, right? And he's got this weird accent, and he's kind of like this mysterious guy, and he is a magician. Mm -hmm. Like, he just, he's not a magician. Like, he just knows, like, good card tricks that All were right. fucking blowing my mud. Like, <laughs> fucking, like, 10 or 12, where I'm like, how did you put that shit in my pocket, you motherfucker? <laughs> like, and they're all kind of probably basic tricks now. He but ever did it the yeah. night before. He didn't even know. No, yeah, he did. I had one trick that I had to know when I was a kid. Um, my uncle, a uh, real smart guy, worked at IBM, but he had a side hustle as a clown. Okay. And uh, he had this trick. I didn't know how he'd do it, but he would take a cloth and put it in his hand, and the cloth would disappear. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what the fuck? How is he pulling this off? Yeah. Yeah. Like, years and years. How you doing it? How you doing it? Yeah. He wouldn't tell me. Yeah, okay. I would have begged Wellington, and he wouldn't tell so, me. And I really, yeah. But I, I figured it out eventually. It's a fake thumb. Well, That's all it is. You. Okay, well, well yeah. wait, to, wait to tell everybody. Yeah. You know, I made a $100 bill disappear at the last one. Wow. I wonder how I did that. Is it a fake we all thumb? Know now. Is it a fake Maybe thumb? it was. It might have been a fake thumb. So the way you hold it, you hold it like Johnny Sausage. Yeah, I, saw I, I learned it, it from see, our good friend Sausage. Rest in peace. Yeah, that was his bar trick. <laughs> that was like his goat. <laughs> we know a couple magicians in town. Like, like that's really kind of their their life, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's what? true. And then our buddy, our fan, our Dry's fan, Siler, who helped me put yeah. together this last show. But if we're doing something here, like, I don't know if Risley's dad's still in the business, but he was like a magician his whole life. Yeah. And then Risley was making videos for other magicians. To yeah. To learn, it's true. you know, hmm. like learning videos. Yep. And Rosander. Yep. Rosander does some magic too. He's yeah. Full blown magician. Yep. I have no idea who Rosander is. I didn't Rosander. know we knew this many magicians. We, no, it, I know. Weird. I actually I'm know kind of two blown more. Away by it. It's kind of weird. No hands magic? Is that Rosander? No, I don't know. They're just like two guys that I don't know their names. I just know the name of the Do they company. not have hands? I don't think so. Two hands magic? No hands magic. No, no. hands magic. Oh. I thought I was like, less no than hands. two by two. I thought yeah. if it was two I hands, I don't really know. I just know of them. I don't know them. Yeah, I'm, that intrigues me. Because, yeah, all right, a magic show without using your hands? Yeah, like I want to see are... that. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was good. It's, it's just, look, I don't know. I don't know, what, I don't know why it's called that. But anyway. Look, no hands? They're actors. They're actors that, you, that had, I mean, that's what had a magic are. show yeah. as well. Unlike the other non-acting magicians. <laughs> the ones that are... Well, these guys, well, the magicians, real magicians, these guys go you catch you them in the them, wild just doing tricks, with no one looking. You see them in the commercials, <laughs> you'll see them sometimes in commercials, local commercials and shit. Probably the same guy. I mean, there's not that many magicians around here, anyway. It can't be not a big magic uh click here, no. But um, maybe if we do know the show here, we bring on another magician, yeah. I want to bring Siler in, I really do, but yeah, yeah, local makes more sense. I mean, yeah, it does. Sorry, Siler, Siler might just be here. 
Yeah, if he wants to if come Siler's to the here, show, he's going to join us on stage. <laughs> yeah, he just might. Be. Yep, yep. You never know. Mm-hmm. Just stro- strolled into Wilmington it, from London. Put it on your resume, buddy, and you can come and check out this <laughs> this very cute little southern city. You've hit it big, Sila. Hey, yeah. and maybe we can go to London one day. Yeah. Yeah, I do a live show yeah. there. You know what, Siler's, uh, I'll have to give you the info. Siler's girlfriend, her speciality, what mm-hmm. she does, these tiny little, she paints these tiny, beautiful, intricate little paintings. Really? Like, they're hmm. about as big as, like, I don't know. Just to annoy old yeah, people. Yeah, like, cool. you're holding this, like a 50 cent piece. Yeah, 50 cent piece. Okay. With, and yeah. that would be the frame included in that. So okay. within that, and um, does well at, like, the conventions and little nerd stuff, but... I think I'm getting one cent now that's of the Lady of the Lake that she oh, did. Wow. I saw a cool. picture of the right. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'd like to see yeah. that. That's great. I, Hands down their favorite character, I think, from the show. But, yeah, they're both big Duralius fans. I'll have to send you this. Yes, I want to see it. When we went to Marbles Museum in Raleigh, and we went to the Museum of History we did. in Raleigh, both of them had those machines where you put a penny in it, and then it, like, presses it. Yeah, yeah. And Old stuff school, on. yeah. And then I'm like, is is it actual the the penny? Is the penny getting pressed, or is it like going in there and then like a? It's a pre-made a copper. I don't think it is. No, I think that you don't think it's the penny. No, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is too. Cause but that's, yeah, because I was like, can you do that? I thought you weren't supposed to destroy government currency. Yeah, probably and then, not. And then there's like a. But Anthony found like this little writing on the side, like per section code, whatever, whatever. You can you can alter you know money if it's not used for I don't know. Uh, some sort of monetary nefarious, nefarious purposes. I think pennies too is like I think everyone wants to just do away with pennies. No one cares about it. Australia already did it. Yeah, I, I just it's just ridiculous that we still have them. It is. I mean, money's money's being used less and less. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it costs more than a penny, I yeah. think, to make a penny. Which is kind of a shame because it's like the banks just have their hands in everything now. It's like if I give a restaurant a twenty dollar bill, they get a hundred percent of that money. You know, if he's my credit right. card. It was easier to hide, you know. Yeah, visa or whatever. Not gets... pay your taxes either. Yeah. Yeah, that too. That's a bonus. Yeah. yeah. I can't cheat on my taxes like I used to, which is a real bummer. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, though, on, like on, on restaurants, restaurants are a hard business to make it. Now you're losing like part of your profits to Visa or MasterCard. Yeah. yeah. Live Nation probably. We're at 99, 99, 99. No! Okay. Oh, wow. We're going to do yeah, it during a podcast. Doing it? God, I hate how this... The microphone stands. We can't end this right podcast here. until the dumpster hits, no, hits we 100,000. We need one more. You know, and can we, you know, just you for a little... Shadow what? play that, too, along with your phone. Yeah. I'm going to record this for our members on the main channel. Yeah, yeah but, but you, you could do, do it right now. Right now? Oh, yeah, you probably yeah. want to do it. Record it on Shadow Play. Don't look away from it. There we go. We're going to capture it. This is going to be for real reels. when you edit from that to that, it's going to be... Oh, my goodness. Let's see. I'll tweet about it. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. We're gonna lose them. You, you watch. <laughs> we might, we might get fucked. As soon with. as you tweet, they're gonna start dropping. In the meantime, let's go. Big old rest in peace. Shout out to old Paul Rubin. Yeah, Paul Rubin. Paul Rubin's that's right. Yeah. Did you work with him? I didn't, but like several of our friends. Yeah, I heard. Did on that one movie down in South Carolina, whatever. Like uh, Marcus, who just won his Emmy from Battle V or whatever. That, um, and then like Jim Mahorny. Apparently, I saw that too. Yeah, he get, he would get, um, and everyone I knew that met him would tell similar shit. Like he kept in touch with like almost all of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Mahorny would get a uh, happy birthday text every year. That's from fucking Pee Wee. Crazy, isn't I that love dope? It. Just from working on that movie and they got along. That's he funny. sounded like such a so great guy. I heard his age, the seventy. Uh, yeah, well, I had no it. idea. I was gonna say, 70. I was gonna say, okay, because I would have guessed more along the lines of sixty. Oh, we hit it. Me too. Woo! Yeah, there it is. It Yay! happened. We Man. saw it happen. We I just it tweeted. Anthony. Easy. Woo! There he is. <laughs> that's fun. That's awesome. That's cool <laughs> that we were all here for that. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. that's fun. That's the so odds cool. that we were recording this shit. Yeah, Sherry, you should be very proud of yourself. Yep. I'm proud uh, of well you. Well you. I'll take it. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This channel is practically your baby. You literally couldn't job. do it without you. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> and vice versa. Yeah. 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 We, we, it wouldn't have happened. We're like right. those, uh, I don't know, like a gut biome or something. You okay. have like bacteria in your gut. Yeah. We need the bacteria. You're our bacteria. Aw. That's the sweetest thing you've ever said yeah. to me. That is pretty you. sweet. <laughs> Aw. We lost one. Ah. Uh, 
Dang it. Back to, back oh. to 99. You said they were going to troll us. You tweeted, didn't you? Well, no. He did tweet. <laughs> no, I just got sick of us. He did tweet. <laughs> Watch us go to zero. Oh, gosh. Zero. Now I'm depressed. Uh, remember when we had 100,000 on the dumpster? Oh, man. Oh, those were the days. We must have got purged. Yep. <laughs> Hey! Hey! It's hey, 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 again. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, God, this is hell. <laughs> <laughs> Love so it. That was pretty cool. Oh, and now we got one hundred thousand and one. Fuck yeah! No turning back now. We're mm. back. Okay, now shut it off. So number go up. No, we don't want to watch the show. Yeah, anymore. stop the count. That. Stop the count. Right. No one has to count. Hey, yeah. we should make it where you can't unsubscribe. Ooh. Like Hotel California. Like it's a forever Yeah, you can check in, but you can't check out. That's right. <laughs> you know what? Uh, as Techie, while you're at it, go ahead and turn off comments, all right? Yep. Okay. No comments. Yeah. And yeah. On. Turn everything off. Let's pull the plug. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it down. As it was a good run, guys. So, oh, so we need to, speaking of the dumpster, Doralis, we need to get back into we, takes two. Yeah. We will. We will. But I know, like, but like we need to, I think, play... For like maybe even come in on an off day. Okay, that might be the thing. So, and go, let's play for four hours at least. Like and doing see what happens. This new series taking a little bit. This it's, it's taking a, lot. a little time. There you go. You're I just right. need to get ahead of that. Get ahead of that, and then we're gonna have one game day on. where we play like four hours. Game on. That would be great because it takes two. The first episode comes out today when we're recording this. Oh, good. So, mm-hmm. so need more. Yeah. Um. This last session, Simon and I had it was. Uh, it wasn't the happiest toward the end. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. You remember that? <laughs> oh no. No, you don't I don't. Blend, all the bad stuff kind of blends was, together. Yeah. Was I? Were you angry at me? No. No. Okay, no. No. Good. No. We were Thank just you. kind of annoyed by. I don't know. Uh, they are fucking annoying. Oh, the the characters. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> like they what a not great good parents, game. Yeah. What a great game, but my God, about halfway, we're, we're only about, what, 30% of the way through it? You go, <laughs> yeah. these people need to be communicating They shouldn't be together. Yeah. It's so toxic. They right. should never be with each other. Yeah. You're rooting for a divorce. Yeah, I really yeah. don't want yeah. them to yeah. be yeah. together. really bad for the girl. No, the, the divorce get, is the right call. It's the right call. They're never going to work together. It should no. be an alternate ending, at least. You, you should be able to separate them if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's just messed up. Yeah, Gameplay yeah. is... Yeah, the beautiful oh, game. The game's amazing. So yeah. great. As a game, like, yeah, you so can't great. knock. It just, it, it, it's no, constantly sure. changing. It keeps you entertained. It's so entertaining. It's wonderful. It's great wish they'd hush characters. it. Just it's shut just the fuck them. up. Yeah, it's them. <laughs> great characters except for the mains. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that book. Did? And the book. Fuck the, like, the, fuck book, the book. The book can oh. suck it, too. You know yeah. what? You, Simon loves, likes me. the book. Yeah, he You're gets all giddy and oh, I the book, book, book. You know what? Curl up at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you get? He's a bookie. Hey. He doesn't come around too often. I think he, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Now, now you're making me judge my own taste. Fuck you. That happens. Wow. I'm just kidding. Okay. No. I think really our really last recording on the dumpster, taste. we were kind of getting sick of it by the end of it too, because we were playing Elden Ring, mm-hmm. and we were fighting this horse boss. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't happening that night. <laughs> yeah, just one happened. Yeah. It was just like, oh, yeah, one more, one more, one more. Yeah. It's like, God, I'm already, I've already been at the office twelve it, hours. I'm it, done. That's right. <laughs> Usually, a lot of times the dumpster stuff is at like the very end of the oh, night. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's getting midnight and later. Yeah. Where yeah. we messed up was our previous recording before this last one. We thought we were done with that tree and the hornets, and we and it started saving. And we're like, okay, it's the on boss. to the next yeah, thing. We finished it. Yeah. We thought. Right. We did not. No, we did not. We had another quarter oh, geez. of that kind of thing left. Yeah. Before so th- we started the next thing. And we're like, so that was that start. Right. And then we then definitely got through to the very yes. next one all the way. All those little but, puzzles. Yeah. Fucking... I guess it's just taking us a little bit longer than yeah, expected. Yeah, he's not a he's not a, a controller platform oh, player. Not even close. Simon's not, so he's yeah. like kicking ass and he's got that obstacle, which is a big obstacle if you didn't grow up playing. Oh yeah, if you're not used a to a controller, yeah. That's uh that's a new thing to wrap your head it around. It is. I mean getting used to it the that's why I think it'd be nice to play for, you know, for three at least a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, uh. That's true, because yeah, if you play it and then jump away from it, yeah, you're just gonna forget it again. Right. Yeah. If you have like a nice play session, you can get used to it. Makes sense. Stays in the head for sure. So, um, this weekend is my birthday weekend. Yes. I don't know if anyone is available. This weekend's your birthday I've already, weekend yeah. on Saturday. Yeah, I already You gonna be come out? Yes. All right. You're Good going deal. out? Yeah. Probably go out Saturday evening. Look at that. If you can't, I understand. 
You seem amazed by this. He's been out before on his birthday. I know. Just... Last year we went to see Nate Bargatze. Yeah, yeah, that worked out really well. That was your birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't remember yeah. that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes, I'm going. Out. I'll go out with you. All right, weekend. good. Yeah. yeah, good, good for sure. And then um, Friday night, my wife's taking me. I, I, I'll give you the story later. But she's taking me somewhere like an Airbnb that's not far from here. Okay. That has animals. Okay. What? So yeah, I'll, I'll, let me let me experience it, and then I'll yeah. tell you about it next and podcast. And think of a clever title <laughs> for a podcast. Yeah. Neeb that stabs animals with yes. pocket knife. Yes. yes there yeah. you go. Yeah. Neeb's arrested for hurting animals. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I'm getting a phone call. Oh my oh. gosh. Let's Ooh. see. Mm, nah, it looks Are you like sure you want to cancel this much. channel? That's yeah, right. If it's no, come on. You want me to? Yeah. Good. Hello. Hold up. Do it again. You there? Uh, just want to let you know that we'll be working in your area, providing free estimates for... Oh, free. For what? So, are you the homeowner? Oh, you are breaking up. It's a free estimate for what? Uh, let me transfer you to one of my specialists who would assist you for... Oh, you're getting the specialist. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> getting some service oh, here. Wow. You get passed all around. Okay. They have better service. Okay. Yeah. Doing? Great, Kevin. How you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Actually, we are visiting your area next couple of days, and we are providing you free estimates like free. roofing, windows, How do they make money? siding. Okay. So, any rough idea right now? Maybe future which kind of home improvement? Um, so windows and doors, free estimates. Yeah, it's a free estimate. Ask them if they have Anderson windows. Do you have Anderson windows? The best in the area. Window. How many windows? Like four or five? Or no, more Anderson, than Anderson is a brand. The brand. Okay, I mean, just well, the brand. Can the brand be Anderson? I uh, no, we do a windows replacement. Your home Anderson home Smiths. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have a different, uh, different design for windows. Hmm. So, like, uh, uh, you are the single homeowner, or do you have a co-owner? No, there's there's five of us yeah. that own five owners. Uh, you uh, have a both homeowners, right? Well, five. Five. Yeah, over five. One more than four. Is that okay? Okay, and yeah, okay, got it. And uh, like, uh, this is the best number to reach you back, or do you have any alternate number? Oh, you want to call us back? Uh, this one's fine. But we each want a window, right? Okay, yeah. Perfect. So, like, uh, what is a good day? You can just check out the free estimate about your four windows, like uh, this week sometime, maybe next week sometime. Hmm. Yeah, um, a week from now. Uh, like uh, fun for your birthday. Day, like uh, uh, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, maybe Saturday. Oh well, I mean, a week from now would be uh, one week from yeah. today. Does he know your birthday is on Tuesday? It's your birthday. It's your weekend. birthday. Tell invite him, him out. Birthday. Invite him out like, this weekend. Like Tuesday is uh, uh, right? Uh, today is Tuesday, sir. Yeah, next next Tuesday. It'll be perfect. Same Next time. Tuesday, call it. Uh, like uh, which time? Morning time, afternoon, or evening? Mm -mm, not too early. No. Mm -hmm. um, afternoon. All same five time. Be, yeah. Same time. What time is it where you are? Uh, like it's uh, four o'clock. Yeah, four o'clock. Uh, God, it's uh, and how do you pronounce your first name? Um, Neebs. Uh, Neebs. Uh, can you spell it? N E E B S. Uh, yep. N E E B S. Got it. And how do you pronounce your last name? Um, gaming. Gaming. G gaming. Uh, can you spell it? A G A M I N G. Okay. And what's your address? YouTube. Um, yep. <laughs> one hundred one YouTube. Avenue. It's yep. It's one hundred one YouTube Avenue. And what's the zip code? Two eight four zero five. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for holding on. Oh, was that it? I guess they got what they needed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what we should have done? Did, did he hang up? Did he realize he was getting trolled <laughs> when someone said YouTube Avenue? <laughs> When he was like, to keep oh, on going. You heard him. St you heard no. him start laughing. No, like, right, I heard yeah, you motherfucker. Yeah. That's it. So now, <laughs> uh, its course. Sorry. No, no one can be logged into our channel because um, they're going to target us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Copy that. If they do, hey. we'll call Mark. Call well, Mark Rober. Or we got another new subscriber or two. Yeah, yeah he should've... might he might enjoy our stuff. Yeah. We should have told him to go to the dumpster too. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Then he more. We should have seen if we could have, could have got him to subscribe. Right. Exactly. <gasps> All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.